I do believe as a movement, um, I should invest the majority of my time in working with those people who are prepared to put in effort and do, do, the, do the jobs. I have a low tolerance for people who want to tell you what you should be doing, but show no signs of doing any of that themselves. You know, that there's a lot of people um, in the moment who never join anything, never produce any effective work, but will critique everybody going. The armchair nationalists. Armchair nationalists, yeah. The, I, I, I think one of the big bugbears for me is the, uh, are those people who sit on the sidelines sniping and criticising everybody, not, not just me or anybody or people I work with, but criticising anybody in nationalism when they do absolutely nothing themselves. We've got people in the air in, in nationalism who should not be tolerated by the wider movement. And my philosophy has always been just to ignore and shun these people, to avoid them. I think when we engage with them and give them oxygen, that gives them energy to continue sniping. And I, I think I've proved it in the last few years that if you just ignore these people, blank these people, don't engage with these people, they become an irrelevance. And we, we've got a whole uh, organisation now who has no idea who these um, idiots and, and negative elements are because they're not engaging with them. They're not, we're not highlighting them, we're not promoting them.